It's Angelica Cole, and unfortunately, as of today, January 17th, May Miglietti is still missing. May's family, friends, and members of the community have conducted two major searches in Mount San Miguel Park, which is very close to May's home, and today they also handed out flyers for distribution throughout the city. Unfortunately, it appears that these searches have not yet yielded any leads to the whereabouts of May, but the family vows that they will search until they find her. May's family is reporting that the last time they spoke with her, they were planning May's daughter's birthday, but that she was the only one to not respond to their group text on Thursday night. Despite that, it is being reported that the last actual sighting of May was by her nine-year-old daughter on Friday. May's purse and both vehicles are still at May's home, but she is believed to have taken her military ID, her phone, and a credit card, none of which have been used since she disappeared. Additionally, according to May's sister, her phone was off all day Friday, and that's really unusual for her. A few intimate details have started to surface about the relationship between May and Larry, including a Facebook post made by May for advice on a local divorce attorney. And it should be noted that she does use the old asking for a friend, but certainly most of the time you're not attorney shopping for your friends. There are even rumors circulating that May had taken this as far as to schedule an appointment with an attorney that she was supposed to meet with on Tuesday. And while this hasn't been confirmed, her recent Facebook posts do seem to support this theory a little bit. Many of May's most recent posts were inspirational quotes and articles about the importance of changing your life and not settling and recognizing a bad situation. So although these could just be inspirational, it does seem to appear that she was actively looking to change her circumstances, whatever that might be. Another small sign of the marital trouble between May and Larry are the recent Facebook posts made by May indicating that her son is the only boy she'll ever love. And while this is just very sweet, it is kind of a sign that shows you that May might have just been ready to move on from Larry. But even with all of that being said, and with Larry's account of them basically just living like roommates, it still does feel like his involvement in her search has been minimal at best. It seems like her family is really out there frontlining this thing, and you're just not seeing a whole lot from Larry. And Larry admitted that he did not attend the prayer vigil or the searches because he's a private person and he wanted to keep things normal for his children, but that he saw the prayer vigil when he picked up his daughter. On Thursday, family and friends held a vigil for Maya. Larry says that he didn't go because he's a private person, but he did see the crowd when he picked up his 11-year-old daughter from the vigil at Mount San Miguel Park. When I got to see a little bit of it, I was just overwhelmed and thankful for all the support. But even prior to the community involvement, it doesn't seem like Larry was doing a ton to search for May. He admits that he wasn't really concerned when May went initially missing, and he mentions that her sister was worried and was trying to file a police report, but that he was just trying to give her some time. Um, my sister and I was recommending, hey, you know, maybe uh, we should call the cops now. I was like, well, I'll, I'll give her some time. Um, but we uh, initially got to the police report, you know, they're like, hey, you got to check the hospitals first. Mm. So this is like around 12 o'clock at night. And uh, it's like, okay, you know, they start checking the hospitals. Um, uh, 12.30, they finally filed the police report. And I was like, well, you know, maybe give her some time because I'd, I'd call like at 4.30 because, you know, give her some time if it's really, really out of the ordinary. My in-laws have been here the whole time. Uh, they start uh, doing the, the neighbors, you know, the cameras and everything, trying to uh, figure out if, when, when she left, 
you know, like they can see it, but they can't really because it's nighttime kind of deal. So as you can hear in Larry's statements, there's a lot of they in regards to May's family. They were concerned about her. They called and checked the hospitals. They filed the police reports. They checked the neighbor's cameras to see what they could see. But there's not a lot of we, as if Larry wasn't involved in much of that. Now, is this just because him and May were fighting and that was just normal for them? You know, possibly. It's just something to notate, especially given the fact that he did not attend the vigil or either search. Additionally, I find Larry's details on Friday to be a little strange as well, and I feel like we need some clarification. He says that he left with their son Friday morning and that the girls were home with their mom doing homeschool. But by Friday night, without seeing May or having any conversation, they exchanged custody of the children and he began taking care of them. So by this account, May is in the same house, but doesn't see her little boy all day Friday and is just okay with that. So I'd really love to know when the girls actually saw their mother, but listen to him explain the situation and see if you get out of it what I do. Uh, Thursday, Thursday night, um, you know, like we got into a, a, a kind of an argument. Um, and, you know, we've been having, uh, you know, like problems. Um, you know, for about a year, kind of like been up and down and stuff like that. But after that, you know, I give her space. So just tell me, uh, so you got into an argument and then um, the last time you saw her was actually in the house? Yes, okay. Thursday. So it was like Friday and then you left or went went somewhere and then came back and she wasn't yeah. there, right? Yes, okay. uh, I left her with my two girls because they, you know, they um, uh, do their homes, homeschool. Mm-hmm. And then I just had my son with me, so uh, when I came back, she was still there on Friday. Um, we can hear her downstairs, you know, like after I'm done giving the kids baths and feeding them and everything. And um, on Saturday morning, uh, when her parents came came by, uh, her door was locked. Uh, I found the keys to the bedroom and I opened it and she was already gone. So I thought maybe she went to a morning center hike. So I don't know about you guys, but I definitely still have so many questions for what happened Thursday night in their kind of an argument and all day Friday. But one thing is certain, and that is she has not been seen for almost two weeks. So it's imperative and critical that we keep the story out there and we keep the focus on finding May safely. Please go to the Facebook page for all continued search information. And the family has also added a Venmo for all financial contributions. Thank you for watching and let's continue to pray that she comes home safely.